Yeah, Mary, this was a fight over inflation and preserving a tip credit for smaller businesses. And after a failed attempt to change the ordinance in the council and a task force with Mayor Bruce Harrell that produced nothing, he now says he will move forward and the city will raise its minimum wage. And that has led to some restaurants saying the price of food could go up some 20%. If you count on a good restaurant scene, Charlie Anthe says there is now a math problem. That's almost a 20% increase. He owns Moshi Moshi in Ballard. I think this process has been extremely unfair and very unseattle like He pushed for a change to the wage rate, which will jump from $17.25 an hour to $20.76 in 2025, not accounting for the tip credit he gets as a small business right now. The city's council attempted to amend the decade-old rate scale this summer, but were met with pushback. Any others who vote yes on it should be brought down in the next election. I absolutely think the council was bullied um, because I was bullied. How long have you worked here? We're in Capitol Hill. I've worked in Capitol Hill for four years now and in the service industry for 10. But Bree Martinez says it is good news that the city upheld an ordinance for bar and restaurant workers like her. It definitely shows that there can be some trust put into our elected officials when they follow through with promises that were made, especially when it comes to a livable wage. What about the argument a rising tide lifts all boats? I mean, <laughs> so yes, that's true. But again, if you if the tide rises too fast, all you do is end up drowning. Right. And without any sort of last minute life preserver, Anthony warns the current equation will lead to subtractions. He is now part of a coalition along with the Seattle Metro Chamber asking the city to take another look at this. However, the mayor is saying that this rate increase will go into effect based on the old ordinance and the rate of inflation based on the consumer price index in the Seattle metro area. It officially goes into effect on January the 1st. For now, live in Seattle South Lake Union neighborhood, I'm Chris Daniels, Como News. Chris